what is up guys welcome welcome back to the channel if you're new here, my name is day and on this channel i talk about cybersecurity. this video is going to be a quick overview uh quick i don't know if it's going to be quick but i'm going to be doing a overview of a bunch of uh cyber security defensive security to a specific labs and training um that are available out there just in case you never knew about them so this is this is going to be like i guess like a a, a uh, another part or a second part to a video i did a video earlier or a while back um shoot that shouldn't play okay i did a video a while back covering um a bunch of like um platforms for aspiring security um professionals so yeah blue team platforms for aspiring security professionals this is going to be a more in-depth one covering more platforms and more and more information um, pretty much. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So um, my last video covered Range Force Try Hack Me Security Blue Team, uh, Blue Team Level One. Um, so I w I think it's it's gonna be kind of intuitive to kind of go over them again. So I don't want to be repetitive with that. So definitely check out my previous video, my very very previous video. I'll leave a link to it in the description and a card to it somewhere on the screen where you can check out my comparison between Range Force Try Hack Me uh, Security Blue Team, Blue Team Level All and all of that. So um, definitely check that out. Um, and I've talked about these different training platforms a lot. I have done videos on them. I have walkthroughs on my second channel. So definitely check out my second channel and be sure to subscribe. Wink, wink. Thank you very much. All right. So let's go to the next one. So we're going to be looking at Cyberry. Um, I have access to Cyberry through my job. Um, so I don't have to pay for it. Um, I have gone through the entire SOC, um, analyst one path. I think it's, it's called, I think, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's, there's a suck and I lose one path uh, in, in uh, Cyberry. I actually had to do it for a job function. So it was required for my role um, as part of, you know, um, some onboarding tasks. And um, it was definitely really important, informative, um, covered a lot of information. Um, it's, it was really, really long, really long, I must tell you. But it was really great training, I must say. And um, I think if you can afford it, um, it's a great platform uh, to learn in a structured approach because... Um, Especially that's like an almost analyst one path. Um, it's definitely quality stuff. It's um, I'm, the thing about it though. It's like sometimes it gets boring. Um, it's the other lab providers are like a lot more interactive. But if you really want that structured approach for you know um, entry level like sub analyst one type um, courses and like just a whole consolidation for it, I recommend it. I think it's really great. I think it covers a lot of information. It's really long. I just I must I must emphasize that it's really really long. But um, I think the information you get from it is gonna be truly, truly valuable. Um, and some of the some of the things you learn are not really might not really be, be applicable, but definitely relevant information. So once again, if you can afford it, definitely check it out. Um, like I said, I, I have access to it through my job. I don't want to open it, so I don't like you know share any kind of confidential, uh, lab provider information. So that's why I'm just having this login page here. But that's my uh, take on Cyberry. There are a bunch of other videos out there about Cyberry. Um, honestly. To be candid, it, it wouldn't be my you know go-to platform if I wanted to pay for training. Thankfully, I have access to it through my employer. Honestly, I wish they would you know maybe do e-learn security instead or another another training provider like or like Blue Team Blue Team Labs Online. Um, but I mean, I have access to it. I've used it. I took the sub analyst one path and it was great. So I you know can't speak you know less of it. I think it's good. But I wouldn't. It wouldn't be my first choice if I was gonna pay for security training. Or if I was gonna look for security training, um, I'll probably go look for courses on um, Udemy or any of the other platforms that I'm gonna be reviewing or I've reviewed in the past. All right, next um for labs we have cyberdefenders.org. Great platform. Really really great platform. Um, especially for practice and skills. I think one thing about this is you kind of have to have the skills before you do this. It's kind of like you you can use this to practice the skills. So it's like if you don't have like some kind of base knowledge of some certain things, you just can't do it. Like for example, if you're trying to go through like Wireshark and you just don't know how to use Wireshark, like you you know, there's no guidance to it, right? So or like try hack me where they'll kind of guide you how to use Wireshark before giving you a room on Wireshark, right? So you kind of have to understand how to use this. These different tools for these different tasks. Once you understand these different tools, so you can start trying to test your your skills and knowledge with them. Um, I've gone through a bunch of like uh um immersive labs walkthrough on my second channel. Actually, not a bunch. Actually, one. I'll be going through more in the future. So definitely keep an eye out and subscribe to my second channel. Wink, wink. Thank you very much. All right. So um, that's that for immersive labs. They're really great. Um, really really great labs. I definitely recommend you checking out. I think one day I'll pro I would just like you know make it a, a goal of mine to just finish all these labs because really really great stuff i must say 
um also they have this recently added this aws cloud security one so you know i think they're one of the first in the space to actually have some kind of cloud security lab which is really impressive i must say it's really impressive i should be working through this lab trying to see what it's about learn more about cloud security but kudos to um cyber defenders for being one of the first people to have a cloud security challenge in on their platform it's definitely impre impressive to see all right, so let's move on to the next one. We have Immersive Labs, um, great platform. I haven't really done much on here, to be honest, but I've checked it out. I've done a couple of labs in here. Um, it's free if you have a student email. Um, so I use my student email to get access to it. There's a lot of labs here you can complete. A lot of hours of content, um, really great stuff. So you can learn about, um, you know, maybe security fundamentals. If you just want to learn about the basics, uh, you can learn about offensive security. So as you can see, you can learn about OSINs, Canon, web app hacking, SQL injection, all of these fun things. You can learn about them, all right? You can learn about, um, what else? You can learn the defensive side. You can learn um, instant response, packet analysis, log analysis, snort, malware analysis, malware analysis, right? Great stuff. All of these things you can learn. Um, I haven't, I must say, I haven't really gone into these. I should really check this out because it's really, it's free. So like, you know, free stuff. So I'll definitely check it out. Um, you can learn about different tools, you know, Wireshark, Bob Suite, Snort, PowerShell, Windows System Internals, Metasploit, all of that fun stuff. Uh, you can learn about cyber threat intelligence, malware, uh, and reverse engineering, application security, cloud security, great stuff. I, I've, I've done a couple of, of challenges here, and I think I just think they have a really nice interface and informative informative things you can learn. So if you have a, if you have a free, if you have a sort of email, definitely check it out. It's free. Like, instead of going out there to pay for training, right this is quality training you can get for free just by having a student student email right so try it try it out before you know going to pay for training out there if you have a student email shout out to all my students all my fellow broke college students <laughs> i'm just playing all right let's move on to tcm security tcm security himself the cybermath himself heath adams so tcm security was recently launched by Heath Adams, who is a really big name in the cybersecurity industry. If you know anything about penetration testing, practical ethical hacking, um, that's the course by the cyber method, Heath Adams. Um, he And also his recent um, certification, which is the PNPT, which I have a goal to be taken by uh, December, not December, fourth quarter, fourth quarter of 2022. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that. I'll be dropping a video about my goals for 2022 soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that so you can see some of my goals. Um, and you know, and you you would definitely see the PMPT in it. So, um, you might be asking, what does um you know these what do what do these courses have to do with defensive security? Um, I'm gonna be specifically looking at so this is the course that I have personally, but I'm gonna be specifically looking at the practical malware analysis and triage course. Um, I think it's a really great course for um anyone who wants to learn about malware analysis. Um, it's really I've checked out the course, the course curriculum. Um, so in defensive security, malware analysis is definitely a great skill to have. It's actually a really specialized skill and sort of sort of to skill because it's not an easy skill to learn. But if you have a if you have a if you have a skill, you can definitely get paid a lot. Um, especially if you if you're really good at it. So um, that's why I bought this course because I wanted to learn about malware analysis. So um, yeah, so that's my course from uh, TCM Security. I think it's really great. I think you should check it out. Um, if you want to learn about malware analysis. Also, it's also good to understand some other things like Python. Python is also great. Uh, you might not find yourself, uh, especially in defensive security, if you're like a SOC analyst or something, writing Python scripts a lot. Um, maybe some roles might require it. If you're like an incident responder, you have to automate certain tasks or certain things or create certain tools or something. You might be using Python. So definitely, I want to learn Python. That's one of my goals for next year, as you will see in my goals video. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Turn on post notifications so you can see the video when it drops. But yeah, I want to learn Python, so I have the Python course and a bunch of other Python courses. As you can see here, I have this whole freaking bookmark dedicated to learning Python. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All of these tools, all of these things just learn Python. But yeah, you guys are going to follow my journey for Python next year, and it's going to be amazing. All right, another thing um, also is um, moving forward is um, it's also good to understand um, security from the offensive perspective in order to be a better defender right you can be a good defender but understanding security from the offensive perspective as well makes you a better defender because you know what the attackers are doing behind the scenes and you can and when you see it in the logs you're like oh yeah i can i know what the attacker did did to do this so this is definitely bad so we have to find a way to mitigate this or block this so um that's another recommendation for mine you know the pmpt is a really great course um it's a really great certification from what i've seen uh reviews i've read um and just 
by the obvious course syllabus i'm currently going through the you know, practical ethical hacking course and it's, it's really great um i've been learning a lot but i don't have a plan on you know finishing anytime soon i'm, I'm kind of putting it on uh, on back burner till next year so um but that's that for tcm security uh, definitely check them out the courses are really really affordable really really affordable um and they do sales from time to time um so definitely check them out and then we have INE or Elan Security. Elan Security, um, really, really, um, it's I think they're like probably the biggest um, uh, defensive security um, um training provider, um, that you know exists out there. Uh, training provider and certification provider. There are not that many defensive security certifications, but Elan Security has a full suite of them. So let's get the certifications. They have um, a lot of um, you know, penetration penetration testing certifications. That are, uh, they're pretty notorious for, um, especially the ECPPT, uh, the ECPTX. But that's what we're looking for. We're looking at the defensive ones. Um, just a disclaimer, the EJPT um, training is free if you have the INE Startup Pass. Um, I probably will be doing the EJPT next year as well. Um, fingers, crossed, fingers crossed. But yeah, the EJPT training is free, so definitely check it out. Um, get those basic skills for free. You'll definitely have to pay for the certification, of course, but the training is free, so definitely check it out. Now, for the defensive uh, certifications, they have the ENDP, which is um, the Network Defense Prof uh, Professional, and it's pretty much just uh, ensures that you possess the advanced knowledge of network defense and security issue remediation and hardening a network from attack. Uh, the ECIR one, which is another great one that I've heard a lot about for security operations and incident response. So you learn about security operations and incident response, how to respond and how to respond to and handle incidents. Uh, ECRE, learn about reverse engineering. Uh, web EWDP, learn about web defense. ECDFP, you learn about digital forensics. ETHP, you learn about threat hunting. ECMAP, you learn about malware analysis. So, um, this is, you know, a lot of certifications. Um, I haven't taken any alert security certifications. I had a plan to take a bunch of them or to buy the one year um, plan for next year, but I just have a lot of other plans in terms of my cloud security goals that I, I wouldn't be able to do that. But from people that I've interacted with and I've talked to, reviews I've read, um, and converse, conversations I've had about these different certifications, um, there are different things people have to say about them. Some, some people think some of them are outdated. Some people think so, uh, the, the, the material doesn't always pr uh, prepare you for the exam. Um, but in all, you tend to learn a lot from these. So um, definitely check them out. Um, look at their training they provide and look at what really works for you. And based on what you're looking for, check it out. Um, they've recently been getting a, a little bit more of notoriety with HR, um, with some of their offensive certifications, but not so much with their defensive certifications. But if you're really looking for knowledge and for skills and um, things that are going to help you kill your interview and become help you become a better security professional, I definitely recommend you checking them out according to whatever it is you want to learn. All right, next we have Let's Defend. I actually did a review video of Let's Defend on my second channel, so definitely check it out. I did a, I've done a couple of walkthroughs. Uh, let's defend and i'll be doing more in the future so definitely check it check it out on this on my second channel cyborgs academy i'm going to leave a link to it in the description be sure to subscribe wink wink i'm trying to get to 1k subscribers by the end of the year on this channel so if you guys can support the channel i would truly appreciate it thank you very much all right so let's defend is a really great platform for security operations if you're trying to learn um if you're trying to learn the skills to become a security analyst how to become a security analyst what you'll be doing as a security analyst this is the platform for you um and you know you can learn you can actually go through actual security incidents respond to them or analyze them or based on e either if you choose a security analyst one or incident responder one you can uh you can learn based on all these different things they also have training that you can use to learn different things so definitely check it out uh you they also have um this um academy as well well that is 50 student of for students so if you're a student, definitely take advantage of the academy, especially if you're trying to get into security operations and incident response. Like I said, I've done a, I've done an in-depth review of the um, uh, the recent incident responder plan on this channel, so definitely check it out. Um, it's a really really great platform if you're trying to learn about security operations live and direct. If you're, you're trying to analyze real scenarios, you're going to be analyzing on your day-to-day -day job as a security professional. Let's Defend is the platform for you. It really is the platform for you. Um, really, really great. Um, I think I hope they have. I hope they get more clout in the coming months or the coming year. So definitely check it out. Um, 
next we have miter attack um, actually attack iq uh, this was not really spoken about a lot when it comes to security training but miter attack uh, miter the miter attack framework is um one that is really good to understand if you're in security operations or defensive security or even offensive security wherever you are in the security industry um understanding miter attack framework is really important because um it's a really great way to map out adversaries and maybe your analysis or your engagements um to understand you know the different uh the different uh uh, what's it called the different levels or the different stages of a cyber attack and kind of understand what an adversary is doing in your environment at a given time so you know understanding you know reconnaissance understanding um different things you know uh, 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 reconnaissance um understanding uh what other things the minor attack covered okay so understanding like initial access execution persistence privilege privilege escalation defense ev evasion credential access discovery Ladder movement, collection, command and control, exfiltration, and impact. So those different, um, those different uh, techniques in the matter attack framework can be easily used during your analysis as a cybersecurity analyst to understand what an attacker is is doing at what point in your network. So if we see something in the same, it's like, oh, this is a persistent technique. So we have to look at the matter attack framework or um, attack um, or uh, attack navigator and can understand what technique is this attacker using. Um, uh, at this point in time, right? So it, it's a really great, it's it's really it's a really um good skill to have, especially if you're trying to get to security operations. Um, really really great to have. Um, I definitely recommend the training. It's free. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything. It's free. You take the training. Um, they give you everything you need to know, and um, you can take like a quick assessment, and you get like a nice badge, a nice quarterly badge you can have on your LinkedIn or your resume, whatever it is uh, you want to have it on. So that's my video on um, the best labs and training for defensive security so we're getting into the new year 2022 you're looking for security training you're looking to build your cybersecurity skills for free or for whatever amount that you can afford these platforms are for you if you're trying to you know become a cybersecurity analyst become an intern uh work in a security operations center as a threat analyst or whatever it, whatever it is in terms of defensive security these platforms are for you check these out if you have any more questions please leave a comment or join the discord server link in the description below ask me any questions i'm always there 24 7 answering questions about any of these platforms um happy to help out in any way um disclaimer none of these um platforms are you know sponsoring me or have requested a review um for this video so um all of my opinion is you know fully my opinion um i'm not trying to sell anything to you I'm just going to provide you information that it's going to help you in your cybersecurity career and your learning journey. With that said, that's the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And um, that's it for today's video. Once again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.